Tim. Probably most of you know who Tim is. And, uh, um, you know, this is a part of the Blueprint Masterclass uh, uh, monthly different, different topic that we do uh, every third week of the month. We do a training on efficiency tools for marketing, which basically means uh, ways that you can increase the efficiency of your business. Uh, everything from invoicing to automation to uh, do-it-yourself graphic design and a whole bunch of other kinds of tools. Uh, that we uh, use in our personal uh, business life uh, that we wanted to share with you today. Uh, and we've, when people adopt these different tools, uh, there's amazing results. Um, it makes life so much easier. In today's world of technology, there really is no easier time to, to get going with businesses, to increase uh, efficiency in businesses. So um, we're going we're gonna to jump right into this. So Tim, why don't you start us right at the beginning there. Thank you, Corey. And this is really um, Corey's brainchild. I mean, we, we've been working on it together for quite a while now, and we're just glad to be able to pull back the curtain and help those who are trying to be, become more efficient. Uh, I was on a call yesterday with somebody who's like, look, I want to do this stuff. I want to get automated. I want to get efficient. I want to get organized with my marketing but I don't even know where to begin. Like it just, it gets overwhelming. And so we're going to go through, you know, nearly two dozen um, tools and tips and programs that will help you in the long run, save time. And money sure. because most of them are free. Most of them are free or low cost. And mm -hmm. we have some, you know, advanced versions of some of these. And we'll mention that today too, but, but you're right, Corey, you can start with just, about zero cost just to at least just to get going. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, even if you just pick three or four of these, you're going to save hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours over the course of several years. So these are best practice type tools. These are tools we use in house. We actually use these tools. This is not something that we pulled a list from seven years ago that you know five years ago that somebody else told us was a good idea this is these are tools we actually use you can uh, message Corey you can message myself we can answer questions about different parts of these tools uh, we can even get on a, a call with you at the same time if we need to but bottom line is we want to resource you for excellence in marketing so you look sharp you feel sharp you're organized and you're ready to go when it comes to using tools that maximize your time, all right? So let's jump right into it. Just as a refresher, there are four master classes that we visit on a monthly basis, okay? The first one, the first Tuesday of the month currently, our rhythm is the first, the, every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, the first Tuesday we cover the Giver Marketing Blueprint. That's our foundational, kind of our, our, our signature process, if you will. The second Tuesday is LinkedIn appointments and how to generate massive amounts of LinkedIn appointments. Uh, the third Tuesday is efficiency tools and tips, which is what we're covering today. The fourth Tuesday is social media best practices. If there is a fifth Tuesday, we usually have a team meeting and discuss uh, in-house projects and onboarding and becoming a, a member as a marketing professional. So those four topics are covered just about every month. And we're glad to be able to help you um, zero in on any questions you have around those topics. I'm a uh, founder of Giver Marketing and the network, uh, Timothy Morgan. If you have any questions, you can ask me or Corey. And we're glad to be able to help you with any branding related. Corey's really our branding specialist uh, within the network. He has his own company and he just drives, drives, drives uh, branding awareness, branding excellence. Um, he has some automation proclivities, if you will. <laughs> and so sure. if you have any questions about uh, branding or automation, he's, he's one of our top, top coaches and consultants, okay? So our goal today is to save you time while you're connecting with your audience. Okay, marketing at, at its core is really connecting with your audience, communicating with your audience. And we covered a little bit of that in the blueprint last uh, a couple of weeks ago and and if you have any questions about that please feel free to pop a note in the chat box okay our our approach is is really a coaching approach 
Um, it's our privilege to really draw out your genius, your potential, and whether that's you individually or your team, we, we basically come in and help take the confusion out of marketing in today's modern world. And we make sure and streamline as much as we can so that you can save time. A little, an hour today is gonna save you, like I said, lots of hours in the future. So we're glad to be able to, to help you do that, okay? Um, our focus, our vision is really to become and continue to be the most trusted network of marketing specialists on the planet. Um, we're just now starting to hit our stride at the time of this recording. We're starting to get messages from all over the world. People saying, hey, we've heard some good things about your network. Your people are awesome. Love working with your team. Um, you guys are great. Tell me more about this, that, or another thing. So we're starting to, to see that development of that high level of trust, not only locally, but regionally and beyond. Okay, so we're proud of that. And part of that, the reason for that is clients have rated us the highest reviewed network of marketing specialists uh, in the country. And in depending on, on, on what your needs are, we can definitely help you find the right match as far as a marketing specialist. Okay. Some of our clients and team members have said things like, love the education first approach. That way, you know, I'm not confused. <laughs> I totally know what's going on. As we're going into our strategy, I nearly doubled my business with very little expense using social networking. Uh, some of these clients and team members have just hit their stride, um, even just in the last few years. And they're starting to see seven figure, uh, you know, seven digit marked on their revenue and some other things. And so we're just really excited for them. Our core principles are generosity, results, efficiency, attitude, transparency. That middle one is key today because we want you to be efficient. We're efficient. We try to make sure that we're not wasting anybody's time, okay? Uh, who benefits from the master class? Well, it's you guys. <laughs> you're hungry. You're coachable. You're passionate. And uh, we're going to jump into some of these tools in just a second. But I want to make sure that we have a foundation or a mindset awakening this morning as we rock and roll with our master class. All things being equal, we do business with people we know, like, and trust. And Corey, we always talk about the respect factor when it mm -hmm. comes to this quote. And yep. people will pay you and me and everybody on this training more if they respect you. So that Absolutely. branding piece that you always talk about and that we always discuss is huge. I mean, notice Mr. Bob Berg here is wearing a suit like that. We got to dress for success. We got to be sharp. People uh, take us more seriously <laughs> when we when we've uh, taken care of ourselves and we feel like we can, you know, we're respectable and take care of others. And, and so when we talk about branding, visibility, promotion, and nurturing in our blueprint, are really our signature process, like I mentioned before, we're talking about a track here, a train, or uh, on the video, I should probably go this way, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Start with branding, then move to visibility, and then start getting efficient and, and effective in some of the uh, tools that we're going to show you on the promotion side and the nurturing. And this, it all kind of works together. You're going to even have a homework assignment today, if you haven't done it already, to get your visibility scan taken care of. And that's a, a part of kind of the blueprint experience. Okay, so get ready for that. And Corey, even as we jump in today, um, mm -hmm. I'll probably be putting some things in the chat box. If you want to put the group page in the chat box, yep. um, the full link, I'd appreciate that. And then I'll put the visibility link in later. We'll tag team it. The Batman and Robin scenario is happening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into it. If you have a project management tool in your company, that means when a project comes down the pipeline, and you need to get organized. There's different team members involved in the project. Great. If you don't have one, try Trello. It, it, it is the most basic, um, mobile-friendly, Kanban-type project management tool. And if you're not sure what Kanban is, just uh, Corey, how do you spell Kanban? Is it K A N B A N? Right. Okay. 
look up Kanban project management tool. Trello will come up, the definitions will come up, or just look up Trello Kanban, and it'll show you how to use this system for max efficiency within any project. I use this for home, home projects. Like I use this for everything that I can, that needs more than two or three line items to it. I pre basically just create a Trello board for it. It's totally free for the private version of this tool. And mm -hmm. then if you wanna go into the business version, um, they even give you like 10 Trello boards for free with the business version. And then you have to, pay a few dollars on top of that if you want to go to the advanced level. So this is a great tool that if, if nothing else today, you, you were able to kind of get organized on your projects, this would be a great one to start with. Corey, tell us a little bit, uh, we're going to go back and forth here, obviously, yep. but tell us yep. a little bit about <laughs> Airtable and how you've been using Airtable. So Airtable is another project management system. And, and just to refer back to Trello for a minute, the, what makes it, uh, unique and different from kind of other project management tools, which are more data driven. This is more visual um, and it, it, it groups projects together in what, what are called cards. So you can see in the screenshot there um, on the bottom uh, four different cards and you can have each card have a different category and then have different tasks within each card and assign people those tasks. And when people get them done, they can check them off to, uh, to remove them from that card and move it to a, a list of now done projects. Um, and so now if you want to go to back to Airtable, um, Airtable is a, another project management system that lets you uh, choose what style of project management system you would like to have. If you prefer a calendar system or a spreadsheet system or a, a Kanban system or um, there's, a, there's a couple others in there too. Uh, and they they're interchangeable. So what you start on a uh, on a spreadsheet, if you include things like dates and names and tasks and descriptions, and maybe you start that off in, in a spreadsheet form, you can actually change the view to be the Kanban view, and it'll have it automatically arranged for you. Um, it, so you can experiment, play around. Uh, Airtable is what I personally use, and I like it a lot um, for a number of different reasons. But you can also do um, some automation. Uh, tasks with it, which again, I'm, I'm the automation nut. And we'll talk a little bit more about that <laughs> later. Uh, but Airtable is, uh, is, I use it in spreadsheet view uh, because it helps me just keep things organized the way my brain works. That's what, what I love about Airtable is it's so flexible. Um, and But then I can change it around if, if need be. Um, and this is a, a free uh, program as well. The one thing I'll say about Airtable is their mobile app uh, for both the iPad or um, phone, whether you're Android or I iPhone, uh, is trash. <laughs> Trello has the, uh, is really great mobile. Uh, Airtable is not. I use it on my computer. So um, that's just a quick note about that. Um, but if that doesn't really matter to you, then there you go. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And I love the integration with these tools. Most every one of these tools we're gonna talk about today has massive levels of integration, whether it's with each other or <laughs> with yeah. other programs. Uh, we're, we're happy to say that a lot of these tools have that ability. Visibility scan is something that we've developed um, with one of our team members, Vicki. She's awesome. And she's sometimes uh, able to, to, to really, not sometimes, is able to take your company from invisible to visible, and that's her specialty, that's her sweet spot. And she's allowed us to basically um, create a white label version of a visibility scan that we can make available to you at no cost. And we wanted to make sure and let you know that you can scan your company's address, phone number, and name and Corey, did you just put this link in the, okay, good. Yep. Uh, thank you for doing that. If you want to make sure you're consistent across the board and listed on all the directories that really make a difference for your company online, there's several dozen of them. I see 46 here. I think there's, there's 40, you know, 46 directories plus that are available when, online that we recommend you at least starting with. And this is where you want to be as a company, as a brand online, so that when people search, hey, I want to look for a marketing coach, 
in Sacramento, California, or whatever, or uh, Tacoma, Washington, or wherever it is, right? You're you're gonna come up more most likely because you're listed on all these directories mm -hmm. and that's what we want for your company is to be able to just easily be found and that's really the big question right can you be found within a few seconds from a mobile device and from from these most commonly used directories and they these companies pour collectively they pour literally billions of dollars into search engine optimization for you. So yep. all you have to do is be listed on them and over time people will be able to find you very quickly. Now it may not happen, you know, overnight, but you need to get listed so that the search engines start playing nice with you and it's all Google based. So everything you see here is based on your Google My Business listing. Corey, do you have anything to add to this? Nope. Let's move. All right, so here's the Here's the directory scan that's in the chat box. This is no cost for you because you're attending this class today, this training. We make it available to our team members, our clients, and those who are on the training so that they can kind of get a jump start on visibility. And this is a big, big component to our blueprint. That's why we're spending a little extra time on it right now. But if you don't do this visibility scan, you're insane. Like you, you need to make sure you know if you're coming up online properly. And that'll set the foundation for some of this other stuff that we're going to be talking about as well. I like Corey, to say tell that us about um, you should be you, with the visibility scan. Um, I just had this thought now that you asked me uh, with the vi visibility scan. It helps you know um, how to reach people that are intentionally looking for you and for people that aren't. So. Perfect. Love it. Love it. And we know the statistics. I mean, it's on your screen. Almost nine out of 10 people are going to go online before making a buying decision. So it adds credibility. It's just a foundational piece. All right. Good. Corey, what do you got for HubSpot? I'm, I'm hearing more and more and more and more great things about HubSpot, yep. especially the integration side. Goodness. So HubSpot is a, a, a CRM, a customer relationship management tool. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them out there and um, we're going to talk about one or two more after this. This is where uh, I would recommend if you're just starting out with needing a CRM, um, it is beginner uh, friendly for sure, but can do some crazy in intermediate and advanced things. Uh, but basically this is where you can keep all of your business contacts. You can keep information on them like the basics, name, email, phone number, uh, what their position is in the company. But you can also uh, leave, give yourself notes. So if you have a conversation with somebody, uh, you can uh, either keep it in your phone. Um, HubSpot has an app, um, so you could add them uh, as a contact into there and then keep notes on your conversation and then refer back to it later. You can add tasks uh, to, to remind yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, remind yourself to follow up with them later. You can set reminders to do that kind of thing. Uh, and then HubSpot, one of the powerful things about HubSpot is it integrates with a uh, ton of different things. Uh, so one of the things that I have uh, as an integration uh, is my uh, scheduler system, Calendly, which that's one of the tools we're going to talk about today. Uh, when somebody sets an appointment with me and adds themselves to my calendar, Zapier, which is another automation tool we're also going to talk about today, will take that information and add it automatically into HubSpot for me as now they're not just somebody that has set an appointment, but they're actually a contact in my database. And then through HubSpot, you can do things like send email campaigns. Uh, you can, um, uh, there's a lot of free marketing and sales tools and then paid marketing and sales tools. Personally, I only use all the free stuff right now. It is, uh, it is a, a robust enough program that um, I, I, I haven't needed to go to the next level, but it does, if you have any familiar with CRM, familiarity with CRMs at a, a more corporate level, this can go as deep as you want, uh, but it's a great place for beginners to start. Start as early as you can with CRM, ladies and gentlemen. It's a big uh, hurdle to jump if you're in, into your business with you know, thousands of customers or clients and, and you're now having to kind of backfill all this, but just start as soon as you can. I mean, today would be the best day <laughs> yep. to start yep. with your CRM. Zoho is another C, uh, customer relations manage, management tool. It's a low cost option. If you, uh, especially if you have like subscriptions within your company, um, this, this is one of the reasons that we've picked up 
this particular software for our network um, is, is because we're a membership and a subscription based company. And so there's some fancy tools and widgets and um, just some fancy uh, options uh, if you want to use uh, a CRM that has the ability to basically, um, well, the best way to explain it is they have several dozen pieces of software within their CRM that allows you to integrate internally. Like it re for some people, it replaces like Google Drive because it stores files. Uh, there's even a video sharing option. There's a sales uh, a IQ kind of like piece. There's a Zendesk type <laughs> like software yeah. built into it. There's there's so many different pieces within Zoho. We don't have time today, but go take a look at it. it it's technically the best p uh, version of Zoho is Zoho One. It's 30 bucks a month if you want to go into this level of sophistication and really tie everything together. Uh, other companies will charge two, three, four hundred dollars a month for this kind of thing. So anyway, it's a best bang for your buck if you're going to go to that kind of that next level. OK. Yeah. Corey, there's uh, we got some questions in the chat box, people raising their hand. Um, it would now be a good time to. Um, I'm keeping track of it. There are they're not questions. They're comments from comments like Chris says he, he made a visibility comment. Know where you're where you are so you can learn how to improve. Israel's here. Hello, Israel. Hey. And then Chris did say, do the CRMs integrate if you grow out of it? Uh, yeah, they I mean they um, they can go as shallow or deep as you want. Um, but both HubSpot and Zoho integrate with a lot of different things um i would i would find it hard to grow out of any of these technically um the right. only way i would see somebody growing out of hubspot is if they need more functionality for team based stuff uh, zoho zoho offers more of that but um in terms of uh solopreneur entrepreneur type people um there it'd be hard to grow out of it um if, if you plan on staying that way unless you're massively scaling as an organization um so yeah so that's what i'd say to that chris so evernote this is um, a note-taking program a digital note-taking program so i don't know about you but i do better with notes <laughs> taking notes and i didn't want to keep just taking notes in my phone uh just in my little notepad uh because i didn't there was not a lot of organization to it and one of the ways that i personally learn the best is when i actually can write out notes and have them all there, but I hate having a ton of papers around me too. So Evernote is the happy medium because it's digital note taking and you can include in it uh, different notebooks. Um, they call them stacks, uh, but you can have notebooks. So you could have one specific notebook. Think of it literally like digital notebooks. You could have one digital notebook for home related things, one for business related things, one for I don't know, some other just random notes that you have. Uh, and, and then you open each digital notebook and you can keep pages of written notes uh, based on whatever it is you're trying to do. So for example, um, my, my history before um, starting a marketing business was I was a pastor um, and I would keep notes in Evernote of my thoughts on things that I wanted to write for a sermon. Uh, and so I would, I would have one notebook specifically for that. An example of how I use it now, I have clients, uh, marketing clients, and I have a, a note for each client where I keep notes, track of, of everything that I'm doing with them, uh, things that I need to do, task lists. Uh, Evernote also has a lot of automation to it. Um, I'll, we'll talk about those a little bit more um, in a little bit here, but Evernote is a great way to keep your notes organized. And then it um, has user-friendly uh, mobile apps as well. And, and if you want to take a note and a little bit more in depth than just a reminder, it's a great way to, uh, uh, to write those things down. So, and Evernote is free um, for two devices. Um, you can, I think the, the payment is $7 a month for three devices or more uh, to have them sync across each other. Um, so, you know, you just have to evaluate that, but it's a great tool for sure. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're on this training today live, you know how to use Zoom because that's the tool we're using. 
Uh, if you're not, if you're listening to this recording, we recommend you try to learn how to use Zoom because it can benefit your company and then also can benefit you in wanting to be able to watch uh, other live trainings. Um, I love the fact you can share your screen. Um, there's just so many different uh, pieces to Zoom that makes it more user friendly than, than maybe uh, the days of using Skype and some of these other types of uh, programs that got us going in the right direction, but Zoom allows us to really uh, interact with each other at another level. You can record, you can uh, integrate with other programs, you can integrate with your calendar. It's just very robust and they're not going anywhere anytime soon because they've got a lot of venture capital behind them and they're just doing a great job. So Crowdfire is a social media scheduler that allows you to take your one post that you wanna put, let's say on Facebook or or on Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever it is and allows you to distribute that to multiple social media platforms. So at the end of the day, we want you to be able to go ahead and um, be efficient with how you're posting to different um, platforms, whether that's you know your traditional platforms or, or, or several others, uh, you'll be able to post to multiple and the thing with crowdfire that's interesting is you can schedule ahead of time and you can schedule to more than you know two or three platforms at one time so it, it has some more flexibility than some of the older like hootsuite um, we still use some of the other social media scheduling um, platforms um, but we're finding that crowdfire and then also there's going to be one that Corey's going to mention that uh, does have a small fee associated with it, but it's it takes you to a whole nother level. So, ah, yep. speaking of that, mm -hmm. Corey, what do you got uh, as yeah. far as cloud campaign? So cloud campaign is that next level up. This is really for businesses that, um, and we really wanted to mention this, even though it does have a cost to it, just about everything else is lower cost or free in this training, but um, social media is big, obviously, as we all know, social media marketing, content marketing, and in 2020, it's going to be bigger than ever uh, with enough for a number of different reasons. But uh, Cloud Campaign is a social media scheduler that's really for if you're if you're ready to take your social media marketing as a business to the next level, this, this is what you do. It, uh, it lets you post uh, an unlimited amount of posts to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google My Business and YouTube all at the same time. Uh, and you can post as many posts to each of those as you want. Uh, and it also uses AI in the background to auto schedule your posts uh, based on when your followers are engaging with you the most. So not all businesses are created equal um, in terms of when people are interacting with them. So just because people interact with your business at noon on Wednesdays the most doesn't mean that's true for everybody. Uh, and so you don't want to follow necessarily the same schedule that all these different companies are suggesting that you schedule your posts out because it's the, the right time. Uh, Cloud Campaign actually analyzes all your accounts, sees when people are interacting with you, 1 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 p.m., whatever, and will auto schedule for you. Um, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, and and it, it gives you analytics like these kinds of posts, like um, pictures with short captions asking a question are performing better than pictures with long captions and a hashtag. Like it gets that granular in terms of uh, suggesting what kind of posts you should be making that seem to be resonating with your audience the most. So it's a huge audience focused uh, scheduling platform that's uh, pretty incredible. So we're, um, we're really big fans of the AI, artificial intelligence, the automation mixed with the hands-on white glove approach of the human touch that allows for a higher quality experience from the from your audience. So this is a big, big, big deal yeah. for the social media scheduling and, yeah. experience for your company. The last piece of that I want to add before we move on is um, it has a, uh, it calls a feed uh, or the social feed where so let's say you've posted on those six different platforms. It will put all of the comments um, that people have on your different platforms. 
it'll put it into one dashboard feed for you. So it will show you, here's the comments you got from the same piece of content. So let's say you posted a picture here from Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Uh, it'll show you the comments from each of those right next to each other, and you can respond to them all within Cloud Campaign. Uh, so you don't have to go to Facebook to respond, and then Instagram to respond, and LinkedIn to respond. You can do it from one place, which saves a lot of time uh and it's pretty incredible so ask me if you want more information um about that uh and and we can go but we we i could talk forever about that so we don't want to <laughs> love it love it love it it's right in your wheelhouse man and yeah. i just really appreciate you making that available to the entire network and everybody and really really appreciate that um calendly is a starting point for those who want to start getting efficient and, and really streamline with booking appointments. So it could be a 10 minute phone call. It could be a masterclass like this. It could be an in-person meeting. It could any kind of appointment at all where you want to block it off on your calendar, either 10 minutes or two hours or, or more. It, it, it allows for people to see your, your calendar availability, basically not your private, calendar events not your birthday parties and your family stuff none of that it just picks up what's available and it makes that easy for people to book an appointment during that time so you're not double booking anymore you're not going back and forth asking people if you'd like to meet on this day this day or this day at what time is better it prevents you from that double booking and it prevents you from that time wasting of going back and forth with people to schedule a stinking appointment <laughs> in today's world people aren't picking up their phones so you're texting back and forth and trying to figure this out and then you try to call them and you miss them because you didn't schedule something and it's just this is becoming extraordinarily important in our today today's world of kind of semi-automation okay so this allows for people to see your digital calendar canva this is corey's wheelhouse uh Great place to start, Corey, uh, if they want to just kind of experiment a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, so this is one of the things I mentioned at the beginning, a do-it-yourself graphic design platform. Uh, it may be you, you're getting ready to start a social media, uh, just a presence, uh, or you need some flyers that you can just get done really quickly. Uh, maybe you need to change your Facebook uh, page cover image, um, and you don't have the... A resource to be able to hire a designer to, to do it. Canva is a free with uh, low pay payment options uh, for a little bit more advanced features um, where you can go in. They have thousands of templates that you literally just change the text that you find one that you like, change the text with yours, save it and boom, you're done. Um, so the free version is best for uh, when you're just posting to social media uh and and just need low resolution kind of things if you are needing to print uh then you will want to get the paid version of it i, I think it was like eight dollars a month or, or ten dollars a month um which you and you can get unlimited uh designs so if you have a whole bunch of things you need to get done at once uh and make several flyers for a campaign you're going to do for example or maybe you just need an informational brochure 10 bucks get make it save it be able to print it at a high quality um, but it's a crazy user-friendly uh, tool to be able to do that. And one quick shout out with Canva as well. Um, so my tool that I, I mentioned a minute ago, Cloud Campaign, has Canva as an integration where if you need to create um, some content for uh, for your posts, you can. Uh, it, it is integrated with Canva, where directly within Cloud Campaign, you can use Canva to create a post and schedule it automatically. So that's just a fun feature of, of Cloud Campaign as well. But Canva is a great tool. Um, and it's online based, um, but they also have an app uh, for the phone as well. Yep. So and highly you can share your you files, you know, your images with your team members. You can yep. do all sorts of fun things. So it makes it uh, kind of a collaboration tool as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So 10i reverse image search. Think about that for a second. You find an image that you love, but it's low resolution or super small or maybe to have some text overlay on it or something that you don't really want. Maybe it's a meme or so something, some kind of image that you want to find different variations of it, whether it's size, uh, even just how it's kind of positioned with 
with different aspects of that particular image, what it's used for, where the original locations are. Reverse image search is the way to go, and TinEye is a good tool for that. So you want to I'll take give a an look. example of, yep. of what that is. So um, I when I was so I created this PowerPoint for this training. And when I was recreating it, um, or I, when I was creating it, I needed an image uh, from uh, that you've used before for other PowerPoints, Tim. It was like yep. a, a wheel or it was like a, a swing or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly what it is, but I couldn't find the original image anywhere um, that you had. It was too low of a resolution for what I mm -hmm. needed. So I went to 10 I I dropped it into there, and it found the original image at a high resolution. Ex ex which is exactly what I needed. So um, that's a perfect example of, uh, of that. So I love using TinEye and uh, dropping some like images into Canva and then making your cover image for, for Facebook and making sure that it just looks really sharp. So there's a good way to kind of integrate uh, some of these tools together and, and save you a lot of headache. <laughs> a lot of time searching all over the, Internet, it'll do it for you. All right, automation. Gosh, we could talk about this for. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll have to temper ourselves on this. Yeah, we'll have to be careful with this one. But Corey, just just give us what you got, man. We're yeah. So we're going to talk about two different uh, automation tools that will make your life crazy awesome. <laughs> uh, so the first one is IFTTT, and this has a an app that you can, and it is actually app based. Um, it does have web version as well. But it's so user friendly with I, with uh, with the app. Uh, IFTTT stands for if this then that, which basically it's a conditional station statement. So if this happens, then I want this to happen. So for example, uh, to use Evernote as as an example again, because um, what IFTTT uh, does really well is it connects apps together. So Google Calendar or MailChimp or Asana or Google Drive or Evernote or whatever it may be. Uh, I mean, there's thousands of the, of the different programs that it integrates with. Um, you could set where one, when you do something with one program, it, something else happens in another program. So to use Evernote as an example, um, the one that's actually in this example right now, um, where it says, which is the green one in the top right corner, uh, of those six, it says create a draft post in WordPress when you add a new note to a notebook. So if, let's say, you write blogs for uh, your website um, and one of your notebooks within Evernote is for writing blogs and rather than, um, you know, writing out the notes in Evernote and like kind of your thoughts on what you want your blog to be and then copying it and then going over to WordPress, going to the blog section, adding a new draft, pasting it in, you can have IFTTT watch your Evernote app for when you add a note to a specific notebook, it can add it as a draft post to WordPress automatically for you. So, so super powerful like that. Another way that um, I use this personally is um, I have a Google Sheet where I keep track of all the books that I read uh, and if I've read them, um, or ones that I need to read, and I'm adding to that list constantly. Um, but sometimes, rather than pulling up Google Sheets, because Google, Google Sheets app is is okay, but it's not as user friendly. Um, I like to. I have a specific reminder list on my phone where I just go in, add the name of the book and the author into my reminder list on my iPhone, and IFTTT looks for that and then adds that book to my list within Google Sheets automatically for me. So basically it, it, it just connects a whole bunch of different things together. Um, I, don't, I, can't, I don't have time to continue talking about all this, but go check it out. It's free, it's 100% free. There is no cost at, of any sort to IFTTT. Um, and you can explore and see and type in uh, an app of your choice uh, and see what the available options are. It's, it's really powerful. And then you can even create your own automations as well. You don't have to just choose pre-selected ones. Which leads us to the next big daddy yes. of, of Hey, automation. real quick, uh, what I love to use IFTTT for is when somebody makes a phone call, it'll, it can automatically pop it onto a spreadsheet so I can look mm. back over the last month and see who's called me and who I need to follow up with if I choose to do it that way. I mean, there's other ways to nice, do that with yeah. your CRM, and it's just kind of a fun backup to your call log if you want yep. to do it that way. 
So Zapier connects the web. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it really connects the world to everything. Um, Zapier is a crazy powerful automation tool, but also super user friendly. Um, they don't have an app. They are only web-based, uh, but you can connect, uh, again, thousands of apps to each other uh, with Zapier. So I used the example earlier, if somebody um, uh, schedules something with Calendly, which we talked about, uh, and Zapier will look for that and then add it to, uh, I, I have it connected to HubSpot, my CRM, but you could connect it to literally anything you wanted to. Um, and you can import specific pieces of information from one to another. Uh, it's, um, gosh. Just that worth. function that you just said, just that one, right? Just that one right there. Right. Is worth going and experimenting a little with, with Zapier at some point. Yeah. Because instead of you double, it, it prevents double entry because you're sitting there wanting to put contact information from a count, a, a calendar event that happened through Calendly onto your CRM and it'll just do it for you. I, I use it for some, some other things as well. I mean, if you have a form that somebody fills out for your company and they put in their name, email address, phone number, and some basic information of like some details that they want to fill out for the form, all that can be shot over to whatever, a spreadsheet, a, a CRM, a, you can do all sorts of things at that point. Once somebody puts in information anywhere online, mm -hmm. digitally, that you have control of, Zapier can point it, push it to just about anything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. It can automate emails. It can automate just all sorts of responses. And uh, gosh, it, it's yeah. endless. I, I really recommend people people go to that too, because this this really takes your mind to a whole new level. I'll, I'll tell you one that I've been exploring too that's kind of fun. I downloaded this app called Bonjoro. Uh, and Bonjoro basically lets you send video messages to uh, people that are prospects um, in, your, in your sales pipeline. Uh, but the way I have it connected is if somebody – leaves a comment on one of my posts on my business page, I will get a message within Bonjoro that says, hey, do you want to send this person a video message? Or not, I'm sorry, not a comment, a, a messenger. Um, do you want to send this person a, a video message? So somebody comments on one of my posts, I get a notification to Bonjoro, and I can right there within Bonjoro app um, send, uh, send a little video and say, hey, thanks so much for... Um, uh, that comment and comment about I can comment about their comment um, and Zapier connects those two, two things together um, So there, there's a, a lot you can do um, Carrie is asking what's the difference between Zapier and IFTTT? Do you need both? No, you don't need both. It just depends on what your needs are So IFTTT again is more for mobile apps um, So apps that you have on your phone making those connect to each other um, and then um, Zapier is more for web-based uh, applications so um, and and taking information it's really good for if somebody enters in any kind of information for you anywhere uh, such as Facebook or uh, a, a Calendly or something like that where you where you get people's information adding it to another program that you have such as a CRM or a, a note or uh, it, it, something that's more web-based because uh, not everything has apps because they're web-based and that's what Zapier really shines at. So um, look at both of them though, just to see and, and explore pre-made uh, templates so you can kind of get a feel for the kinds of things that each of these services connect. All right, Love we it. move on. We got Good 15 questions. minutes and we still got some more. All right, so really <laughs> quickly, Otter, let's say you're in a meeting uh, or you need to make a, a voice note and send it to somebody on your team. Um, and you need a voice um, recording, but you want it to be typed out so people can read it as well. It's, it's a, this is a great tool for uh, streamlining your on-the-go world with kind of an AI assistant that's going to be transcribing your videos on the fly. And so you can save these recordings, send them do what you need to do with them, save them for later. Um, th these are powerful to, to have during certain uh, meetings that you might have within your company. Uh, Dropbox is a 
place to store files in the cloud. If you don't know about Dropbox, um, it, it basically prevents you from having to store everything on that good old fashioned computer you have in front of you that could crash at any moment. It's actually safer to, sit, to have files in the cloud today, uh, whereas it was a, maybe a little bit um, the opposite 10 years ago. Now it's actually safer to have files in the cloud. So you want to look at Dropbox for that. MailChimp is basically an email platform that if it's free up to 2,000 contacts. So if you have 2,000 or fewer contacts in your database, uh, even if it's just in like Google contacts or, you know, some basic database or on a spreadsheet somewhere, uh, a CSV file or any kind of spreadsheet or database that you have that's kind of just raw and organic, you can pop it right into Google uh, MailChimp, be able to send uh, everybody on, uh, on that list uh, an email as long as you've gotten permission. Uh, we, we we're a big believer in permission around here. So uh, we want to make sure that you get permission from people to send those emails. If you're able to, to, to put that together in a few minutes, those emails are going to look sharp. The images are going to look really good. They're going to render properly on mobile devices. Corey, do you have a couple seconds to add on this one? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you basically said everything, but MailChimp really is, um, if you're looking to get started with the email campaigns, it's the best first step um, because it, I think you get up to 500 contacts for free. And uh, it, there, there's really, they've actually made a lot of upgrades lately where they are, they are trying to become more of a CRM. Uh, and so they've, they have some new features that, that you can do with them too. But um, yeah, it's, it's worth checking out, especially because it's free. I've been, I think, I've been I think it integrates with, it with Facebook quite nicely on some of their uh, Facebook ads. MailChimp integrates with everything too. as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And um, I, I wanna, think I'll it is, quickly, I think it's uh, up to 2,000 contacts for free. For, uh, uh, recall conference. What's that? Uh, I was just going to say, I think it's, I think it's, it's now up to 2,000 contacts for free. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, awesome. so that's a, that's a good, good progression that they've made over the years. Uh, Corey, tell us a little bit about Facebook Messenger, how you're using it. Yeah, one, one, sorry, um, I was just saying that um, I wanted to address something Carrie said in the chat oh, sure. box. Sure, um, sure. Because she asked about Otter um, mm -hmm. and if it records phone conversations, and it doesn't at this time, uh, but there are call recording apps that you can use that uh, record on, on both Android and iPhone that just record your call, and then you can upload those to Otter. Um, to transcribe them that way. So I thought that was a really great question um, for, for that. So, yeah. Good answer on the fly. I love it. All right. So Facebook Messenger. Um, oh, by the way, if somebody, if you want to record something that's going uh, to be really important, more and more people are using even the uh, kind of the audio version of Zoom. And you can just record right there and have that in the cloud or, 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 or saved on your, on your device as well. Mm -hmm. So that, that's another workaround on that too. All right, Facebook Messenger, what do we got here? Yeah, so Facebook Messenger is a, a sleeping tool. So it has yet to even take off. Um, that's what I mean by it's, it's, a, it's a sleeper. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, um, I forget how many businesses are on Facebook right now, I want to say it was somewhere around 600,000 businesses or I'm, uh, yeah, 600,000 and only like 30 something of them are using Facebook Messenger like it's crazy, um, crazy low numbers. But uh, basically, Facebook Messenger has a lot of business purposes. Um, there are a number of things you can do, like including chat bots uh, to automatically respond to people, to answer basic questions, to take them down a road uh, of getting them into your sales pipeline. Um, you can run ads from Facebook that connect people to your Facebook Messenger where they get engaged in a specific kind of uh, uh, interaction. Um, but one of the things that I, that I, and that's more advanced level, one of the things I wanna talk about with this specifically is um, business pages are seen as more credible when there's a little badge on it that says responds within X amount of time. Uh, and the shorter that time amount is better, like responds immediately or responds within five minutes, 
uh, the better because people know that your, your page is active and you are engaging with it and using it for business. Um, and there are tools that Facebook itself uh, has that you can set up to help uh, help yourself, really. Um, so you can set an automatic reply. If somebody sends you a message for the first time, uh, it can automatically be whatever you want it to say. Hey, Tim, thanks for uh, reaching out. Um, we'll get back to you as soon as, as we can. That's a, that's a good example. I think that's even the de default reply that Facebook creates for you. Uh, but you can make it a little bit more robust like, hey, Timothy, thanks for uh, reaching out. If you have any questions, feel free to give, uh, feel free to schedule a call at, you know, whatever your URL is. Um, and you can make that customized. But you can also set it where it detects if people ask for um, hours or directions. Uh, it can, you can input what the, the answers to those are, uh, and it will respond to people that way. Um, and then there's a number of, uh, a couple other things, tool, uh, that tools, part of that are cool as well, um, such as if somebody leaves your page a, a recommendation, that's Facebook's version of reviews. Um, if they leave you a, a recommendation, Messenger can actually send them a message to say, hey, thanks so much for the recommendation. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, and anything else you want to add to that. Or if somebody leaves a bad recommendation, you can have a, it's a, set an automatic message to them that says, hey, I'm so sorry that this was your experience. Um, would you be open to talking uh, to see if we can right the wrong? Or uh, literally whatever, you can craft that however you want. But it's a super powerful tool that every business should be using. It's free. You find it in your settings on your business page. Um, that helps you respond and interact with people automatically at first, and then you can move it into the human to human interaction as needed. I love automation that points right to a, a, a quick phone call or, or, or ask a question. Um, and so I love the direction that, that this is, this is going and we're, we're starting to use more and more of this. You can even integrate it into your website. So now your messen messenger uh, bots can be, you know, uh, integrated so that when people go on your website, they imme immediately start messaging you through uh, Facebook or, or some other medium to be able to kind of have that is instant messenger vibe going on with your pages. So we love that. Last pass. Hey, if you have more than five passwords, five programs which we all that, do that you need passwords <laughs> for, just take a screenshot of this or go look it up right now because it's going to save you immense headache. And I'm not talking about just time here. I'm talking about like issues trying to log into something when you need to log into it and you're in front of a client or a customer or something. It'll save you massive amounts of embarrassment. And it'll save you a lot of time and it'll just make you, you feel like you're super smart <laughs> because you'll have all your passwords in one place. And it has some good double factor authentication safety protocols built in. So you're not going to, nobody's going to steal your password. So don't worry about that. Okay. In fact, I think they have a pretty good track record on that. If I remember right, Wave, yep. tell us about Wave really quickly. Yeah, Wave is an invoicing software that um, uh, that I use and a lot of different people use because uh, it's free, which is great. Uh, but it has a lot of different uh, features to it. So it you can create invoices with it. You can create recurring invoices with it. People can pay you directly through your invoices. You can custom uh, brand them. Uh, you can keep track of all your trans transaction histories. You can link it to your bank account so it can keep track of, of so like your business bank account or personal uh, and keep track of all of the different kinds of transactions that you've got going on. It gives you a PI, and i It gives you uh, all, it's basically like, there's a lot of QuickBook functions to it, but way simpler. Um, and that's what I, I like about it. Uh, and they, they even have option, paid options where you can hire um, a CPA through them uh, that can help out as many hours as you need, once a month, once a week, whatever it may be. Um, you, you can get insurance through them. You can get uh, reports. Uh, you can run payroll. Uh, there's a number of different things. Some of, some of those options are, are part of the paid uh, upgrades, like the payroll, for example. But um, especially if you're a solopreneur, I mean, th this is what I use. And I use it for all my business transactions uh, to, to be able to keep track of um, all my expenses and 
collect uh, and collect payments. Uh, and this has integrations as well with uh, Zapier. So one of the things that I do is sometimes I'll send an invoice to somebody and as soon as uh, they pay it, they get added into my uh, HubSpot CRM automatically uh, via Zapier uh, from Wave. So I'm um, really flexible, really, uh, really easy to use. Awesome. Yeah, my wife uses it. It's really easy on the mobile device as well. So very nice. Answer the public. I love this. Corey, this tell is, us about this. This is insane. Yeah, this is one of the best tools I've ever found in my life. <laughs> uh, so answer the public is, uh, I put it in here, is the best kept secret for coming up with topics for marketing. So listen, I talked about it earlier. I'm going to talk about it more next week um, on the social media best practices training. Social media is this, this year going to be more important than ever uh, to be utilizing for your business. Uh, maybe not in the ways that you think, um, but one of the biggest issues that people have is coming up with ideas for topics. You go to answerthepublic.com and type in your uh, a keyword of choice. So let's say it's uh, uh, money management. You type in money management and it will come up with questions it will actually pull data that people are asking that are real questions via Google uh, about money management or whatever your tool is so you type in money management and it'll ask you or it'll it'll show you things like questions that people are asking will money management or why does money management or how does money management or what is money management and like every variation that you could think of a who what why where when questions that people are asking that include your keyword, real people are asking. That gives you a really good sense of what people wanna know about your keyword or topic or industry and give you hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of ideas uh, on what kinds of things to post. It, it's a really incredible tool. And it's so free. Corey, are you telling me with a little bit of coaching and some tools like this, you can basically plan out your whole year with a bunch of topics that people are asking right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Un unbelievable. The days of we we are truly in the information age, my friend. Yeah. All right. So social <laughs> I wish we had more time. <laughs> social media in general, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh all these different automation pieces that we're talking about to save you some time and get you into conversations with your audience. That's the whole idea for all these tools, conversations and organization of your your marketing efforts okay so ask about automation and messaging software we have multiple team members that corey has got some some software vicky's got some software uh zach's got some software wes has some i'm just dropping names because there's all these different team members that they know this software to such a degree that i'm like guys help you know help our our clients help help those who would need a little bit of advanced training on this uh, and, and, and at least try the software for 30 days. There's several different um, so, uh, softwares that we offer for different platforms and for different uses. So please don't hesitate to ask. This is how, this is how we best help you to really dial in specifically for what your needs are. Mm -hmm. And look, we're not going to, we're not high, high pressure sales people. At, you know, that's not, that's not, we're all about permission. We're all about giving value. We're all about educating. We're all about giving you, you know, short trials of different programs and, and experiences so that you can get your feet wet on some of this and see if you even like it. So let us know in, in the chat box or through messenger, you can reach out to Corey or myself and we'll get you in touch with the right person to make sure that you can set up your software properly. Even any of the tools that you saw today. I mean, Set up a, an appointment with Corey. He'll show you some of the tools that we talked about today. And here's your homework assignment, ladies and gentlemen. Pick two tools you're going to try this week. If you have any questions, set up an appointment with Corey. And Corey's going to put that in the chat box. Yep, I so put you can my click email right on it. And my, uh, my Calendly link in there. And if you're not scared of his mustache, you can set up the appointment right now <laughs> ahead of time. Go pick your two software programs that you want to try this week. It could be Calendly and Zapier. It could be, you know, whatever. Whatever you decide to do, try 
to set up at least the account. I just went and tried it and set up one new one based on our conversation today while we were talking. Mm -hmm. So you can do it. And, and if you have any questions, it's not about if you're having any questions, when you have questions, set up yeah. your time with Corey and you can talk to him about it and he can save you literally, you know, 10 hours of time just by talking to him for 30 minutes or 20, 15 minutes or whatever it is. Okay. Yep. All right. So we have a whopping negative one minute to answer yeah. questions. If there is a pressing question, I'm willing to stay for, you know, two or three minutes after here, Corey. Uh, yep. No, if, I'm if good. You are. Um, but if there's any questions specifically about any of the tools, some of them we didn't even get to, as you can tell there. But if you have any questions specifically, please pop them in the chat box. And I'm going to, you know, stop the recording here in a few minutes and, and shut everything down in a few minutes. But we want to make, you know, some time available for you. What questions do we have? Anything in the chat box that can get us going here, Corey? No, I've been kind of answering them and in, in as we've been going along. Um, so I've got nothing new right now. Nothing fresh and new. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Well, take a look in the chat box, see if that triggers anything, ladies and gentlemen, for questions you might have and feel free to uh, pop them either in the chat box or unmute yourself. And then we can answer those questions right now. Okay. You can unmute yourself and we can answer those questions. Now, Chris, did you have anything? Yeah, Tim. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, there's so overwhelming. There's so much information here. I know it. I know and it. I'm I, sorry, I, man. <laughs> no, 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 no need to apologize. <laughs> um, and what I was wondering, and like I, I, you, you hit it at the end there, pick one or two, get really good at doing that, and then, and then move on from there. But, um, you know, um, I like the, um, uh, the table. What was it called? The Air table. Yep. Air table. Yeah. For doing stuff like you can set events and meetings, correct? Uh, Air, so Airtable is the project management uh, yeah, exactly. uh, tool. That's so it, it keeps track of, it's like a glorified Excel spreadsheet. But if I want to host an event, that could be a project where I have multiple things to come in. Yep, absolutely. Speakers. Okay, that, yep. that was the clarification I wanted. Yep, yep, yep. And, and if you're into, you know, if you're, you're an organizing type person, Airtable is where you want to start. Uh, Trello is for, 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 for folks like, like myself who, who really just want to get some basic pieces together for, for an event or a project, but Airtable really is more robust and it, it has a lot more bells and whistles. Super fun. Um, we had a couple things in the chat room. Coach Flo says, I need a tech coach to come to my place of business and get me organized. We'll trade for bounce house rentals. Ooh, that's a fun come trade. Come on, baby. Uh, but Johnny actually responded and said, Hey, Coach Flo, I'm Johnny with Johnny's IT services. So that's cool. They're, they're connecting. The, the people are, are connecting. So you guys can uh, connect, uh, exchange information. I'd probably give each other's email quickly here. Uh, so that way, because we're going to be signing off shortly and don't want you to lose out. Um, yep. And they're both, both in the private Facebook group. So they can okay. connect with each other there as well. Um, and just as a reminder, the private Facebook group link, um, Corey, if you want to just pop that in right, you know, right at the tail end of our conversation here, givermarketing.com slash group will take you to that private group that if you've been accepted, which, which all of you have that are on the training today, I've made, I've made sure, I'm pretty sure everyone is accepted so they can ask questions in there. They can also reach out to each other and connect with each other uh, via Facebook that way as well good we got some uh chatter going on in in the box there so uh corey if you could maybe answer some of those questions while i shut down the live recording then we can kind of wrap it up um yeah absolutely few here i appreciate no it. no problem and it looks like they're all just talking to each other at this point so there's not um any any other questions being asked so good um yeah so i think i think we might be good for the day timothy all right, I'm going to stop the recording now.